Hello everybody and welcome to Sly Kuba. We're going to be starting off with the first game, Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. This game is a lot of fun. I did not like playing it the first time I ever played it, but I have beaten it before and I love it. So let's get going. Sony Computer Entertainment presents. Yes, Sucker Punch is the uh, company that made Infamous as well. Alright, here we go. I got an achievement already. Okay. So let's start a new game. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay, so here we have Mr. Sly Cooper. Oh. Ooh. Some coins. And I actually just received the uh, latest game for Christmas. Wow, trophies are very easy to get in this game. Okay, so R1 does that. I feel like we don't ever stop moving. Alrighty then. This game has five levels, I believe. The next game definitely has a bunch more, and it's definitely a lot harder. So, we're finishing this game first. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Alright, hold down the circle button near the blue auras. Sweetness, we're heading into the van. Um. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Oh my. Alright, looks like we got a nice easy path down here. Don't know what that is, but... Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carbolita Fox's office is behind the red door. Red door. Make red door. Ah! I got here, Miss Kamalika Fox. What's so we gotta go outside? The door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around. Oh. <laughs> Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. 9... 3... 7... Nice job! You got it! If you 
come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Nice. Just shove it into our back. So that's what every creep thief does. When they're done, they just shove it into the backs. It's all good, guys. It's all good. We got some coins out here. Hang on. We need a second. raccoon I've caught you red-handed ah Carmelita I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay which reminds me you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my hey you know that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes very fetching you think this pistol packs a paralyzing punch you ought to try it might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Run, Sly, run! Ah! Get me out of here! No, leave me alone! Ah, no! Yeah, you basically get like one hit in this game and then you're dead. No, oh my goodness, you've gotta be kidding me. Are we really going to have to start all the way over? It's all right, I'm gonna speed run this real quick. I was just having fun back there. That was close. Red door is going to be right down here. So head out this way. Excuse me, Miss Fox. I need to secure that file. Freeze, criminal. Run! Look how fast we did that. We weren't dilly dallying around. That was close. Too close, too close, too close. Hop in the van. Yeah. You can't escape me, raccoon! Mm, I'm pretty sure I just did Carmelitas. Ooh, bye bye. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Looks like we're in for an adventure. Okay. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. 
Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route to our first target. Hmm. Yeah. I want to. Already plotted a route to our first. Target. All right. Looks like we're going to the first target. I wanted to go to the menu, but I guess I can't. So here we go. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Tide of terror. All right, so it looks like we got three things to do there. We got some sort of key to find. All right. So we've got a key and it looks like 20 bottles. Option. Okay. Trying to figure out if we can turn subtitles on, but it doesn't look like we can, and I don't actually know if they're on or not. Hey, oh, they are. I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oop. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Sorry about that. I mean, some pistachio nuts. Ah, oh, sweet, our first two bottles. Very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of club. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. Alright. So we're definitely going to 100% this game, which, by my standards, means getting all the trophies. more bottles. Oh, sweetness. Break that. We should try to get all the coins as well. So uh, I think if we get a hundred we get like a lucky charm or something. Coin recycler. Sweet. Searchlights? One careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Nice. Nice dog. Right, so we gotta make our way through here. Book it! Oh! All right, let's grab that bottle. Hey, oh, that bottle as well. Oh, look out for this guy, he's throwing stars at us. Meow, meow, 
Yeah, that's right, sucker. You went down. Straight up downtown. We got right nine bottles. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, look, that looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24 7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Oh, Sly is serious. I don't want your fire breath on me. Let's hop down here, grab these two bottles. Wow, the current's a bit strong. I think we, yeah, we've got the only two bottles here. Oh, we only need eight more. Seven more. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Well. We gotta hop over this stuff. No, bad boy. Oh no! Oh! I think Bentley checkpointed our progress though, which is nice. Yep, all the way back here. So looks like we got three lives left. No, stop breathing fire at me. Oh, lucky charm. Coins, coins everywhere. Alright, come on. Slide. I like this game, but the next two are definitely better. Like, by far. Not story-wise, just gameplay-wise. I think... It's between this one or the second one for me has the best story. I don't think I'm able to decide between the two of them because they're both pretty rocking stories. The third one has an alright story, but it's definitely not my cup of tea. Oh, we missed some bottles. We missed six bottles. If you can locate all the clues in this area, hmm. I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. How do we miss six whole bottles? Alright, so it looks like there's two up here. There's two more up there, which means we just need two more. So where are they? Alright, we're gonna have to go back and find them. Oh crap, I don't think we can jump over that thing. Oh yes we can. Hmm. I definitely don't see the bottles anyway. Oh, this is going to bug me. It is going to bug me a lot. I was thinking maybe they were up there, but... Oh, we can't get back over this gate, can we? Oh, yes we can. Thank you, Mr. Rock.
Where else would the bottles be? They shouldn't be that hard to find. So, use the van. Okay, let's head back down to the ship. See if there are any more bottles over here. Just to be safe. Nope, doesn't look like any more bottles over here on the ship. Nope, they're not there. The other two that were on top of that thing right there. Hmm. I'm really, really confused at where they would be. But this thing stops here. There's definitely no way we could get under it. Oh. We just lost our lucky charm. Hmm. I really don't know where these other two bottles are. What the heck? Wow, that that is very, very annoying. You can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. Man, that's annoying. I can't believe I couldn't find this other. Alright, I'm just gonna take one more quick look. In places that they might be. Ooh. Ooh, wait, I have an idea. It might be like way back at the beginning or on top of some of this stuff. So we can't get on top of it. Alright, so I'm gonna look at the beginning one more time before we continue the level. So I think I might have an idea as to where they. Where got there in like a really obvious spot that I missed. I'm gonna be really mad. Could be a waterfall. No. Come on. Check something. Yeah, I don't know where those other two are then. Dang it, that's insane. <clears throat> it's so annoying. Because you get special moves if you uh, find all the bottles, I think. In the second game, they are a lot harder to find though. Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to take some time to search this level thoroughly. And when I say that, I mean I'm gonna look it up online. Just kidding, I'm probably gonna search by myself. And then if I can't find anything, like after maybe a good half hour, hour, 45 minutes, however long I decide to take, then I will search the, the answers. All right, let's move on. Oh. All 
Growling Grounds. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to end this episode here, and I will see you all in the next one.